You fell into me and I didn't know what to do Cause you fell into me and I fell backwards too But now I know how it feels to fall in love with you And now I know how it feels and I hope that you know too I never felt this way about anyone. Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Taylor. I am a second year Bachelor of Science student at the University of Melbourne and I am living here at college. And today is an exciting day because I am getting my first dose of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. Here in Australia, it is only eligible to people aged 40 or above, at least here in Victoria it is. And I didn't realize until last week that I was actually eligible because I have a chronic health condition called endometriosis. So that was good timing because we're actually in a lockdown at the moment. We are in a stage four lockdown, which means we can't leave the house unless it's for a certain number of reasons, one of them being to get the COVID vaccine. So I am really keen to get vaccinated because COVID is just a little bit too close to home at the moment. So I will take you along with me. I'm going at 1.30. It took me so long to get this appointment. I had to call the hotline like 12 times. I had to sit on hold. By the time I did get through, they only had an appointment in a week's time, which is today. So it's been a bit of a wait, but I'm so excited to go and get that done. Other than that, I've had a pretty slow morning this morning. I got up at nine. I wanted to get up at eight, but I was just too tired so i got up at nine and then i had a really slow morning getting ready and it's now 10 and i should probably get my day started i have exams coming up i have my first exam next wednesday so i need to do a bit of prep for that and hopefully this will be a bit of a productive weekend i cannot concentrate i haven't even tried i think that's the problem i have nine essays to plan for my exam i am up to essay number three so I'm going to try and get all of those done today and tomorrow. So then they're just done and ready for the exam on Wednesday. experiencing really really bad like cramps almost I feel really really sick um this often happens and there's never really like a pattern to when it happens or why it's happening I'm going to try and eat because I know that I'm really hungry even though I feel really sick so I'm going to go down to lunch in about five minutes I've had some Nurofen and hopefully <laughs> I feel okay enough to drive Okay, hello. I just had lunch and it was, I just did a full spin, and it was yum cha. Um, so that was pretty good. I'm feeling a little bit better, less crampy right now. So I'm going to get um, my bag packed and ready to go. I'm going to try and just bring this little handbag. So yeah, I'm going to put everything in there. I need my Medicare card, my driver's license. I think that's it. Um, and some supporting documentation, which I have on my phone, just to kind of say that I do have a underlying chronic health condition. So, yeah. Okay, I'm a little bit early. I'm about 15 minutes early. That was the easiest drive. But I'm actually going to go and see if I can... Um, get in a bit earlier since I'm here if not I'll just wait um in the queue I guess 
So, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. I think it's just obviously that thing of like the unknown and also the fact that um, I'm kind of doing it alone and no one else is really here with me to get it with me. So, I'm going to go and check it out and I will see you on the flip side. <laughs> Okay, hello, done. So, it's now 2.50, so it's been almost two hours. Feels like it's been four hours. That was a really long process. I rocked up at 1.15 and there was the booking line and the walk-in line and the walk-in line was so much shorter than the booking line. And so I went in the booking line. There were people there to direct you to your line and stuff. So I queued up outside in the freezing cold with just this jumper on. And I don't even, I've only got like my little singlet underneath for about, um, I'd say like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And I am so cold. Like my hands are still freezing. It's going to take me all afternoon to recover from being out in the cold for so long. But I queued up there and yeah, there was just no order. I was with a lady who had an appointment and her husband didn't have an appointment and so he went in the walk-in line and he got his vaccine and finished the whole process half an hour before she did. So if you're coming to the Melbourne showgrounds and the walk-in queue is only like 15 minutes long because that's what it says it is on the website, which is probably true then don't bother booking <laughs> to be honest so yeah booking really didn't do anything i then went inside and they checked out my details asked me for proof of um my condition and so did all that that was all good and then queued up in the wrong line by accident so i ended up in the walk-ins line so managed to scoot across into the bookings line that probably took another 20 minutes off my waiting time to be honest then went and sat down outside of the little booths where they actually do the vaccine for probably 20 minutes and again they rotated through like three maybe even four groups of people and just didn't call me in I don't know how they just kept like missing me so anyway it just was a really long process and there was really no order to it in terms of like you booked and you were in front of this person in the line so you can go in first it's just kind of like I don't know what the order is. I don't think they know what the order is either. But it was really good. They were all really nice. And then I got the vaccine and that was all fine. And then I just had to wait for 15 minutes afterwards and they checked on me about 10 times and asked me if I was okay and I was like yes. I was like it's literally been half a minute since I got the vaccine but I'm fine. So I'm feeling fine now. It's been obviously 15 minutes then you have to check out. I feel like I'm being moved along. I'm gonna drive to Macca's and then keep talking. Okay Macca's was closed but I just got to the KFC and I got a little go bucket with nuggets and chippies. Oh. Very soft nuggets. I'm gonna put this back on this side. So yeah, I did my 15 minutes waiting, got checked up on about 100 times, and then got to leave after 15 minutes. And here we are. They said that side effects are kind of headache, fatigue, aches, chills, fever but it was all normal unless it didn't go away after 24 hours. I've been so so excited about people getting the COVID vaccine like when people are like oh my grandparents got it or I watched vlogs of people in the US getting it. It just really excited me and I think it's because we've been through the whole thing like almost two years ago COVID wasn't a thing and then there was no vaccine for it and now there's multiple vaccines for it and I was just kind of assumed that my turn would be last because I was like 19 year old you know 
no significant health problems and I actually did not consider one bit that endometriosis would make me eligible for the vaccine but I actually did research on it and obviously the research that's done on anything to do with COVID is you know very limited and new but um, there is research that says that um, basically if I did get COVID my symptoms might manifest differently so but it does not make me more susceptible to COVID obviously well I don't know if that's obvious or not but that kind of makes sense to me I found that really interesting I feel very lucky that I can get it um, and yay a good day Can't oh, recording get up. does it get brighter yeah it does <laughs> just got back from dinner. Dinner was um, spag bowl and apple crumble for dessert so it was really good even though I was not hungry from my KFC. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just quite tired but I don't think any more than I would have been anyway if that makes sense. I was already pretty tired just from like the week that I've had and how I've been feeling and I'm just feeling a little bit flushed and red but again I don't know if that is from the vaccine or if that's just me because I do often get quite like flushed and hot so it's kind of too early for me to tell but I guess like I'll just keep an eye on it I'm gonna bother doing any work or trying to do any work I know I just can't so I'm going to keep editing today's videos and then probably hop into bed and watch some YouTube or something and then go to sleep pretty early Hi everyone, it is now Sunday. It's actually 10 to 1. I got out of bed at 11 this morning and then have been at brunch since 11.30. And I've actually decided to finish the vlog now just because I don't think I have a really interesting day coming up and I also really need to concentrate on my study. But I thought that I would check in and let you know how I'm feeling obviously after the vaccine. So last night I tucked myself into bed and watched some YouTube and some of the bowl type. I also started reading my new book, How to Endo, which I was really enjoying. And I ended up getting a 12 hour sleep last night. I was really tired and it was a proper deep sleep too. My boyfriend Toby came in at about midnight to hop into bed as well and he said that I was really hot. So I think I might've had a little bit of a fever in the night, but obviously nothing bad and I'm feeling fine now and then I woke up this morning and my arm was really sore I literally could not move it I could not lie on it and it's actually gotten better over the past kind of hour but this morning I couldn't lift it probably any higher than this but it's not bad enough that I can't do my work or do anything so it's very bearable and I was also just really tired this morning and still am a little bit kind of sheepish right now but I think I might have a nap later on just to get over the fatigue a little bit quicker but other than that I'm feeling fine it's just those three kind of symptoms that are totally normal and have been very minimal and easy to deal with I've had a neurofin and I think that might have helped my arm pain a little bit and yeah that's basically it so I'm gonna head down and do some study now and Put my head down a little bit and then probably have a nap this afternoon so i will say goodbye now but thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye